Reality creation and manifestation are some concepts that state that our reality is created by the thoughts we indulge in. Before knowing all of this, you thought that you didn't have enough power to manifest big desires. You thought that your destiny was set, and you couldn't change it. But, after knowing about the law, you manifested something consciously, and it was a wonderful feeling. Now you are facing some doubts because you are manifesting something you consider big, and you want some answers. So, today I will explain to you a very exciting concept by Neville Goddard, known as the Law of Reversibility. You've probably heard of it and know something about it, or it's completely new to you. This concept will spark a flame within you, and you will know exactly why your inner experiences are responsible for the physical manifestations. This will remind you to get back on track and to stay persistent with your mental diet. In the book, Prayer, The Art of Believing, Neville states that, if a physical fact can produce a psychological state, a psychological state can produce a physical fact. Pause the video and read it once more. The majority of people believe in the physical fact analogy. Their psychological state is produced by the physical facts present in their reality. That means their mood and emotions are based on some physical evidence. You can relate it to when you went trekking and someone told you that the summit would be just 500 meters away from a tree that has red leaves. After climbing the mountain, you were tired, and then, going a little bit further, you saw that tree that suddenly evoked some emotions, your mood changed, and suddenly you started feeling energetic again. Almost all of us live with this, but this is not the case when manifesting something consciously. Conscious manifestation is totally opposite, your inner world must match the state of having your desire. Now, read this statement again, if a physical fact can produce a psychological state, a psychological state can produce a physical fact. The thing you want to manifest, the object of your desire, is a physical fact that can be produced by a psychological state. This is the law of reversibility that Neville Goddard was talking about. This exists in nature as well, it is scientifically proven, and I will explain it with a very simple scientific experiment. Water exists in three states, solid when it is ice, liquid when heated, and gas when heated even further. You know this, right? Scientific studies were also conducted in reverse order to test this phenomenon. The gas, when cooled, became liquid, and the liquid, when cooled, became ice, and thus the law of reversibility was introduced. This can also be witnessed in other areas as well. If heat can produce mechanical motion, then mechanical motion can produce heat. If electricity produces magnetism, magnetism too can develop electric currents. If the voice can cause undulatory currents, then such currents can reproduce the voice, and so on. There is no difference between cause and effect, energy and matter, action and reaction. In the same manner, when a physical manifestation produces a feeling, that feeling can produce physical manifestations. You can observe this, your state of mind determines your physical health. When you try to smile even when you are in an uncomfortable situation, a feeling of comfort develops within you, which creates a comfortable environment. You might have noticed that when you were holding the feeling of love, lots of people would start hitting on you. When you were negative, even the average looking men began to ignore you. The law of reversibility is working every time, and you use it for your physical manifestations. Conscious manifestation is all about using this principle in the appropriate manner. You generate the state of wish fulfillment within yourself, which in turn produces the physical evidence of your having that thing. The injunction to pray, believing that you already possess what you pray for, is based on knowledge of the law of inverse transformation. If your realized prayer produces in you a definite feeling or state of consciousness, then, inversely, that particular feeling or state of consciousness must produce your realized prayer. 
Because all transformations of force are reversible, you should always assume the feeling of a fulfilled wish. He said that if your realized prayer produces a feeling within you, then that feeling within you can produce your realized prayer. This is how you can change your reality. This is how reality creation works. It is not some kind of magic, it is how the world is working. You must choose to live in the state of a wish fulfilled every moment, only then will your reality shift and give you what you have asked for. Some of you are very selective when it comes to the dresses you wear and the food you eat. So try to be selective about your mental diet as well. Select the thoughts of positivity, accomplishments, love, and joy, and they will be presented in your physical experience. Inner speech from premises of fulfilled desire is the way to create an intelligible world for yourself. Observe your inner speech, for it is the cause of future action. Inner speech reveals the state of consciousness from which you view the world. Because your inner speech is manifested in events all around you, make your inner speech match your fulfilled desire. It's the inner voice that is frozen in the world around us. This vast universe is nothing more than frozen inner speech. Promise yourself that you will go beyond your present limitations. Change your I cannot to I can. Write I promise in the comment sections. Every day, sit and praise yourself. Do it for even the little things that you remember, and suddenly an army of positive thoughts will march within you, your mood will change, and your desires will manifest. It is that simple. Your laziness is stopping you. Either you are too lazy or not disciplined enough. Once you get that clarity and stick to it, something magical will definitely happen to you that you won't be able to tell anyone else. You will live in a state of bliss, and everything that you touch will turn into gold. So, I hope you found something wonderful in this video. For more videos subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.